Hello everybody, I'm Mihai Nitsa and in this lesson we are going to discuss on urban forest management, starting with a vision, continuing with planning and action. What do we need for an efficient urban forest management? In these lessons we are going to discuss about the principles of planning and monitoring. Urban forest management, as any forest management, is shaped and based on a plan, which is a roadmap, that creates a shared vision for the future of a tree camp. The management plan is a tailored plan that guides tree care, tree care professionals to proactively and effectively manage and provide for maximum long-term benefits to the community. The plan provides recommendations based on the analysis of detailed inventories and include additional components or documents such as budgets, implementation schedules, policies, etc. In general, an effective urban forest management plan will include vision for the urban forest, inventories and assessment of the current status of the urban forest, strategic plan, such as goals, objectives and actions based on the information and analyzed and identified needs, implementation plans with specific dates and assigned responsibilities, monitoring plan with a system or metrics to check effectiveness and revise the management plan as needed. Vision statement includes the elements that describe both the urban forest itself and how it is cared for and valued by the people who managed it. For example, if we achieve our goals, how will the, the area be different than it is now? Or what do we want the urban forest to look like as a result of the plan? Visioning is a planning process through which a community creates a shared vision for its future and begins to make it a reality. By doing inventories and assessments, we are answering to the question, what do we have? Know where you came from to know where you are going. The information collected in inventories and assessments will be summarized in plan sections, status of the urban forest. In this step, the focus is on four main sections. On the context, regarding history and land use changes and environmental assessment. On the vegetation, canopy cover assessment tree inventory. On the management, responsibilities, plans, policies, regulation, management practices, and on the community. Regarding the context, a review of the history of the urban forest will help explain how it arrived and its current composition and condition. Compare aerial imagery for past and current land uses. Consult your local museum, historical society, or tree care nonprofit to learn about heritage trees and past community urban forestry efforts. It can be helpful to include what is known about the native forests, historical green infrastructure, and others. In these sections, we are asked, asked, answering the questions such as How has site history affected the development and composition of the current urban forest? Are there trees of historical or cultural significance that are important to protect? Some environmental factors require consideration in making resource management decisions. Assess factors that are relevant to your site such as climatic conditions that can impact plant section. Consider general soil types, fire hazard areas, climate change impacts, and others. Regarding vegetation, first, you need to assess the amount of canopy cover using aerial imager to get an overall picture of the urban forest. By determining the current canopy cover, you establish a baseline for the range of the urban forest and defend can canopy cover target for the future. Then you have an inventory of the trees, or do you need to make one? Assess the current composition of distribution of the community trees. Having a tree inventory is essential if you manage urban tree population on a tree by tree basis. Regarding the management, you have responsibilities. Urban forest managers typically are planning and implementing tree plantings, they are maintaining, they are managing hazards, they are recycling wood from pruning and others. They must also deal with problems related to the urban environment. After that, you need to see the plans, policies, and regulations. Review organizational records, including prior plans, policies, and ordinance. You may include the general plan, specific plans, or open space elements, design and landscaping guidelines, watershed plans, climate action plans, and many, many other plans. Regarding the management practices, Knowledge of past practices and events is key to understanding the present condition of the urban forest. Regarding community, 
The stakeholder analysis is the process of identifying those affected by a project and analyzing their attitudes towards the project and potential changes. Do some brainstorming with others to help identify stakeholders, staff, agency, groups, businesses, and concerned residents. Question to be asked, who are the, the key people and groups that are impacted? Who might be good and helping to develop or review the plan? Which stakeholder groups are likely to influence the success of the plan? Are these people aware of urban forestry? If not, who are you educating and engage them? The strategic planning portion of the urban forest management plan includes the development of goals, objectives, and actions that will lead to the achievement of your vision for the future of the urban forest. As you analyze the data that you collected from the inventories and assessments, try to determine how the urban forests arrive at its current state. For instance, why is canopy cover decreasing? It could be because more trees are being removed that, that are planted, or an invasive pest is killing trees at an accelerated rate. You need to establish goals. You need to answer to the questions, what do we want? What would be the elements of a highly successful management plan? You need to set objectives. Like goals, objectives are desired outcomes, but objectives are more specific and limited in scope. For instance, suppose to set a goal to increase canopy cover from 20 to 30% within 10 years. This goal is explicit and quantifiable, but doesn't indicate what needs to be done. To reach the target canopy cover for the goal stated below, you should need to follow the objectives. That's why you need to set the objectives that are providing more specificities by breaking goals into components. Let's give you an example. Suppose to set a goal to incre increase canopy cover from 20 to 30% within 10 years. This is quantifiable and now you can indicate what to, what to be done. Regarding the implementation plan, this describes how this action will be carried out. It is likely that the implementation plan will span shorter time blocks and will be revised based on the pace of the implementation. For each action, the implementation plan spells out priority ranking, time schedule, personal responsible for administration funding sources, specific budget. In the end, the monitoring plan is the most important part of the management. The goal of the monitoring plan is to provide the data needed to understand what is happening, why is, is, is this happening, and how specific management adjustments will it change the outcome. You need to answer the question, what? For instance, which trees are, or program activities need to be monitored? What additional factors need to be monitored? When will data be collected continuously? For instance, inventory updated by work records? What are the specific intervals? When to collect and analyze the data? Who? Who will collect, analyze, and use the information? How much staff consulting and volunteer time will be needed? And in the end, how? How will you gather and analyze the monitoring data? How and where will you store the data? Like in existing GIS, new databases? In the end, I want to give you some takeaway messages. The plan provides recommendations based on the analysis of detailed inventories. For better planning and management, you need to answer these questions. What do you want? What do you have? How do you get what you want, who will take action and when? And in the end, do not forget, be adaptive, monitor, evaluate, progress, and revise as needed. Thank you.